got two things. One's sad, the other's happy. Mm. Go with the sad first. You, and you may already have heard this and tweeted about it, but um, Ra- Rahul Kohli. I sent it to you, actually. Are you the one who gave me that? Oh, yes. sorry. But yeah. Our, R.I.P. Hagrid. R.I.P. and R.I.P. to Hagrid. Um, and, uh, but yeah, the young guy from Cello Show uh, didn't, had no idea he was yeah. battling leukemia, right? Yeah, it's awful. But on a pot, so to the family and friends of everybody, that's really terribly sad. And yeah. we're going to, hopefully we're going to, yeah, we, we really want to see that. No, we're going um, to, we're going to But see then it. on good news, drum roll, you heard about Roger DeConnath and Monty Rotnam? No, what? They're collaborating. Haven't they already done it? It's been 30 years. Was it Talapathy? I don't remember what film it was, but I just know it, it's, it's been a Money? couple of decades for Monty Rotnam and Roger DeConnath to come together, and they're, they've announced. Oh, that's awesome. They are making something together. Hopefully it's a baby. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for some follow us subscribe to the other like button. And today we got actually a behind the scenes of PS1 uh, cool. by Money Rotten. And it's a this is a featuring Tota Tarani, who I do believe is the set designer. Great. Uh, which, obviously, if you haven't seen our review, please go see our review of PS1. And please go see PS1. I think it's now, like, the highest grossing Tamil film ever, All time. Which is great. Yeah. Uh, when good cinema yes. uh, makes a lot of money. Yes. Uh, we like that. We do. That is when we care about box office. Yep. Because then um, it means those filmmakers get big paychecks to make movies again like the ones they made. And Mani Ratnam has been hurting for a long time. Struggling. Yeah. Real so nice for him to finally have a director. success under his belt. <laughs> Make a name for himself. <laughs> Can't wait for the next one. We will see the next one in IMAX in June. Uh, I, w- I will make sure. Because there was one showing here of PS1. And I was out of town, so I, there was no even chance for me to see it in IMAX. And hopefully it'll have an even bigger distribution. Yeah. I don't know why it won't. We, it, was, it was far away, but I think for the second one, we will go out of our way if that is the only one yeah. to uh, go see it in IMAX because I would like to see it. In Me IMAX, too. I think it would be really cool. Me but too. the sets were some of the most beautiful parts Gorgeous. of, uh, yeah. of it. So. All production design was, what do you expect? We knew it would be. Here we go. So this film I'm doing after 28 years, Money and Me. Whatever I want, I just work out on paper, I work out on a graph even today, till today. Atam Manupam was the first set what we did. Mr. explained to me that they needed a little waterfront and so what we did was to erect the whole water pond two bodies and then the center passage and then that will lead to the exterior of the wall. Building practical sets, man. We had a person to research on today what was used at that time. For instance, wallet should on leather. Uh, yalis were not kept like this, and yalis were only kept in certain areas like that. One major direction is the temples. That, those are the best references we can get. Then two pillars will not be the same. They'll be right. alternate pillars one design. Because they're pa- they're handmade. We some people to get the dresses made for the animals. It was not easy. You know, every day morning to dress up the horse and give them the sword and the spear. Plus, dummies were made. We had to do it in wood. We had to do it in fiberglass. We had to do it in uh, steel with fiberglass uh, thing. And uh, supply them whenever they want. We are taking something which is already... It's an epic now. So we try to work out on that epic. It's nice to hear that we have done this film. Like one, it's a Mani Ratnam's film. They'll they'll never be long enough because we could sit through three hours of behind the scenes. I hope they do actually have like a a three hour long making of, because this is this, this is the style of film and RR in the films like that. But especially like this, when they build all the practical sets and they build, it's just, it's just movie magic. Yeah. Uh, and you, Monty Rotten's an old school soul. And so he's going to do everything 
more old school than relying on mostly CGI and, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, which CGI is an art form in and of itself. It and is. It's beautiful Nothing and it's wonderful. It. Yeah. But it's, it's its own marvel to really watch something that has all practical effects, all and, practical sets. And I'll tell you, actors prefer practical. Oh, yeah. Always. Helps get, you. Helps you, puts you in it. And and we've gone over this before, but for anybody who's unfamiliar with the differentiation between, say, art direction, production design, set design. So production design is the totality of everything. Mm. Everything falls under production design. Props, costuming, as does art direction. Everything has to flow the art deals with the aesthetic. What will the costumes look like? What will the color pattern be of everything? What would the colors be of the sets and the props? Whereas set design builds the sets and production design is in charge of every physical, practical thing from a prop to, uh, uh, except for the costumes and wigs. That's yeah. that's their own part of makeup, uh, makeup and things. So the it, it's practical effects and full-blown construction of sets and the behind the scenes of that i just could watch it for hours and hours and hours and hours and yeah. would love it if they have more yeah especially uh like if they released like these for ashwarya building her character absolutely yeah you could i don't do know for if they could do it yet obviously because they probably want the second one to come out yeah because i'm sure there's twists and turns because i still haven't decided if i'm going to read the books yet I don't know why somebody doesn't. I, I I don't know if I am either. I don't know why somebody doesn't. Maybe they've done it. I just don't. You could do, like, a limited run, one season documentary of behind the scenes of PS One or RRR, mm -hmm. and just have had somebody on set following people and have one be like Gibson kind of did that. The behind the scenes for the Passion of the Christ are spectacular. Because there's a segment just for production design. There's a segment just for costuming. There's a section just for the actors. There's a section just for location scouting. And I, you could, I would watch. I would watch absolutely like a seven episode, one hour each, for all of, like from day one of when they did their first table read yeah. until the the opening on the red carpet. It'd be so fun. To I mean, see. they they should do it for like big films because. Then that's more OTT rights you can sell. Absolutely, and it promotes your film. Yeah, there'd be people who'd watch the behind the scenes and then want to see the film. Yeah, you could do it for any massive yeah, film. Brahma absolutely. Astra, KGF. I just I don't you know. know why it's not a standard follow up for a movie that's a hit like Maverick. You know how many people would watch the behind the scenes on Maverick? I still haven't seen Maverick. Yeah, well, you're the only person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going through horror films right now, so I I don't have time for Top Gun. It, what was? You just watched Carrie, and now what was the most recent one? I'm on oh, Rosemary's Baby. You're on it. I have. I'm not saying anything. I have about 20 minutes left. Okay, great. Well, I won't say anything. I haven't. Uh, I haven't finished it yet. All right. I will finish it tonight. Um, I have. It's been a long time since I finished a film in one like sitting. one sitting. It's usually, oh yeah. It's usually two to three sittings because I have sure. to do it during nap time or at night time. Right. And at night time. It's a, a crash shoot. Yeah, because I get yeah. tired. Yeah. <laughs> and so, Understand. Like, I start, the kids have gone to bed, and I'm, like, exhausted. And so I only have so much time. <laughs> or sometimes I'm up all night. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so that's... Uh, more. That's, I, I want to watch Top Gun. More, more, more. More behind the scenes. And I think it comes out in June, I think is what it said, right? Unless I think that's it what it said. And genius of them to film them at the exact same time. So smart. Keeps down the cost. Well, and that's what they did with, the, like, the next three avatars were all filmed simultaneous because they knew how long post-production would take. So, yeah, they're all in the can. It's smart. Yep. Especially if you know it's going to be a massive film. That's one way to keep the cost down. It might it might be like at the up front to be like, oh, yeah, this is a up lot. Up front, it's a lot. But <laughs> long term, they've already made their money back. So like yeah, so it's, it's all profit from here. like I'm sure I don't know what the output is, but it wouldn't surprise me if the output for Avatar for the next three was a billion dollars for all three, mm -hmm. right? Let's say it was three hundred million each. That's a, that's a big check to write. Mm -hmm. You're gonna probably make it on the first film, probably when you count international. As long as it's good, right? I mean, if it sucks, it's a big gamble. Yeah, because if it didn't work out. If it, Ouch. If obviously no one really was like, oh, I need Avatar 2, and you're making four more. And then. The yeah, first, that really and then, sucks. And then the first one sucks. And bombs. And then doesn't make money, and nobody's going to go see three, four. Here comes two, three, and four. <laughs> At least one weekend after the other. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, anyway, so who knows what they do? Anyways, uh, very excited for the second one. Love the first one. Uh, let us know what you thought about it and other videos we can react to down below. Just